line across through here. This is the RVP, and then this is the LVP, and I'm going to put a line below the horizon line right here. I'm going to try to draw the semi truck like I do a lot of things. So, you know, some of this should be redundant. If you follow along with me on many of my drawings, this should be a lot like the others. And then I'm going to start off with a box. I'm just going to draw some boxes here. Then I have another box here. Put this box up. Draw that back this way. Then I'm going to put another box that's going to be coming up and back that way. Some of you might actually see the truck even now. Although I've just got a few boxes. That's a little too long. You have to eyeball this to see if it's in proportion. If you're drawing something too big, chances are it's not going to work. See? Now here's the truck starting to come out right now. As you can see where the wheels are going to be, this is the front wheel. It's going to fall back to the RVP. And then this part right here goes this. Can't see the other wheel. And here are the smokes, or I guess they're the smoke stacks. They're coming up out of the back. Here's the other, here's the tank. Here's the wheels. There's two wheels right here, and they have to follow this line. And these other two wheels will be right back here, and they have to be smaller. They have to converge. As these two lines converge, they'll be basically <coughs> setting up the size of these wheels. But we can see some of the 3D of this wheel if we run a line back this way. Really simple, just run a line back that way. And then if you want to clean up some of this, because I have a lot of lines. Once I clean up some, I can tell where everything's at more or less. Here's a door. Here's the front grill on this truck. I need to bring this down a little bit more. Sometimes you have to make corrections. It's okay, that's what racers are good for. And the lights will run across each other. Then you have your grill in the front. And here's my front wheel. If the front wheel's too big, just make it smaller. Here's the tank, Got the gas tank, cab comes back to here, run your cab on back some, and here's your other two wheels, they run back this way. There's a problem here with this front. And the problem is, that wheel's not lining up right. So all I do is just fix it. I put in a new ellipse. And now it's fixed. And if I want to put anything else on the truck, I can. But you can see where my wheels are at here on this. There's that gas tank. Here's this smokestack or exhaust. I want to put some names on here. Let's say I want to call it Art. I put a line here and here. And here's the A. I can put writing on it. R. All these lines. I can't make this R any bigger than that top of that conversion line. Where that line is con converging toward the... Uh, the uh, RVP on either side from here or here. And then here's R A R P. Here's my art truck. I want to clean it up some more. I can erase a few more lines. You can always straighten up. As you draw these trucks more and more, they get better and better. But here's A. Don't put as much detail in the back wheels. As further things go back on your drawing, the less detail they need to have in them.